Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the official podcast. We have Donkey today. Oh, thanks, Kaya. <laughs> really, take the no, wind no, no. out of my fucking sails. We have Sir Donkey. Sir Donkey, aka Jason, as he's more Sir likely known on the internet. The second. It's good to be here with you peasants. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the royalty speaks. You know how to do an intro. That's, Royal that's, blood. Sometimes it's nice to dabble with the, the riff raff. Common so, filth. so, Sir Donkey, <laughs> when you're uh, parading around your fabulous wealth and power, do you find that listening to your villages tends to help, or no. do you just kind of dictate your policies? No, I just do whatever I want. I like I think, it. An yeah, iron I fist. Good philosophy. So let's just you get right into the meat of things. Subjects. Yeah, I just kind of want to dive right in. It's not every day we get to talk with the benighted god of an, an entire platform <laughs> like we do today. So, Jason, you masturbate, yes? Wait, what? Benighted means the bad thing. <laughs> I said benighted, didn't I? Is that what yeah. this... Yeah, he's, he's, he's not right, you guys are just, by the masturbation That's what question. this is? I just come on here, you guys talking about jacking off? This yeah. is a jacking off <laughs> podcast? You haven't done your research. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. His girlfriend in the background, get out now, Jason. <laughs> is that the official podcast? What the fuck are you doing? Uh, <laughs> what did you expect? My girlfriend's nodding no. I don't jack off. Nodding no. I don't no. do that. I didn't mean to say I didn't mean to say girlfriend. She's been either. nodding no for the last ten minutes, like get <laughs> don't get in there. <laughs> what? Get out of that. It's so safe. That's my fiance. Get her get, get her in here. Why is she being shy? We only get got her. one mic. Good microphone. That she's got like a McDonald's sharing. microphone. Yeah, just go cheek to cheek. What's her name? Get in here. Wanna come on there? Leah. Come here, Leah. Don't be shy. <laughs> okay, don't Re- call her like a dog. <laughs> Get in okay, here, lady she's Leah. In. Sir Leah, I don't know. Come on, come over here by Can me. Can we get knighted? On the good microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Sit on the throne. It's probably made of fabulous gold. All right. Oh! Whoa, 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 shit! We've been hacked. Here we go. He, he <laughs> inserted Who gave him call. powers? <laughs> this is why you don't fuck with the king. Jesus Christ. Here's Leah. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Jason does not masturbate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for setting the record straight. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> Thanks for correcting the record. <laughs> yeah, everyone, I'm, I'm sorry for the disgusting baseless accusation we will immediately <laughs> investigate this issue and fire andrew or charlie Guys, or whoever. We, we might be a little the we might be a little fucked all my flashcards here just say ask if he masturbates i'm out of material <laughs> <laughs> we're going off script here where's the deep questions <laughs> deep uh, questions what the oh hell? God. Come on, i think man. that was it like, Let's was get the, deep the problem is it's all the same topic like it's how often does he masturbate why does he masturbate <laughs> i'm just <laughs> Out of material now. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hang on. Okay, so you two, you cute couple of you. What is the deepest question you've ever been asked on a podcast? Oh. Are you serious? You're that lazy? <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 You want us to tell you what question to ask? No, I'm just, did you guys not prepare Lord. questions? <laughs> Donkey, you were meant to prepare a questions. I prepared question. tons of questions. Not you, Andrew. Oh. What do you think about his masturbation? <laughs> Hey, you just, just know because... there's gonna be like one person who listened to the H3 podcast and now they're here. They're like, what is this? <laughs> it was such an insightful discussion. That, that, not, how are they just talking about penises? That's actually a, a funny thing we can bring up. I love how every time we have a guest, and typically the bigger name ones, there's always a small section that no matter how good or bad it is, they say, you fucking blew it. You had this big name on your show, and it was terrible, and you fucking blew it. You messed it up. They'll never talk to you again. That was your one chance. That it's well, done. Technically, they don't. I haven't heard from fucking PewDiePie in years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, um, no. Serious question. What was the deepest thing you've been asked? Um, if you're that much better than us, if you're so high and mighty, you know. If you, if hey, you know we questions. don't have a podcast. Kaya, that's your king. That's how Lee's Lord. I'm sorry, Jason Joffrey. I think the best, the the deepest question was uh, something about jerking off. It was like two seconds ago. (laughs) What was your response to that question? Uh, No, no, I don't. I don't even know what that is. He's like, like the leader of North Korea here. He doesn't have an asshole, and he doesn't jerk off. 
<laughs> what? You're asking him about his asshole? No, 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 no. How are didn't. you on the internet? You you try to sound so innocent, <laughs> like you've never heard of these questions before. Like, oh, they're they're asking you about wieners, Jason. Get off this podcast. No, the funny thing is, when he told me he was gonna come on here, I was like, they're just gonna ask you about masturbation. Who so so did you a know research? It? Jason, and he was like, no, it's not like that. <laughs> Sorry, it is. <laughs> she, so you were holding up the stopwatch and just clicked it as soon as Charlie asked. <laughs> you really fucked this up, Fuck. You just end. cut out 45 minutes of our material. <laughs> yeah, they're fucking speed running the podcast. Good crap. Damn. <laughs> now, now watch, he's going to ask for the joke here. next. Uh, see you guys later. <laughs> he's not close nice having you on. All right, shortest episode yet. <laughs> but our best as well. <laughs> we can get into, we can get into some real topics. We can get we can get into some, into some real nitty gritty stuff here. So, J- uh, Jason, the last time you, Leah, and I we all played a game together, we were talking about Fun Spot. Have you been to a Fun Spot recently? <laughs> no. <laughs> no Fun Spots. This sounds like an innuendo. Fun spot. It's not really. We still masturbation. You've been there, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, I have. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about. Have the you fun been there spot. recently? No, it's been a long time. And you should know what Fun Spot is. It's that uh, rat. Is it like an arcade? Ad. Well, it tries to. They have a couple arcade games. Oh, is that the mini golf warehouse? Course? It's where they have alligators they got and roller coasters. Oh, yeah. that fucking thing! Yeah, that place sucks. Yeah, it's, it's really the dream alligators combination: roller coasters. roller coasters and alligators. It's yeah. a very high concept. Isn't that where uh, where you play mini golf around the alligators, and you think like it's gonna be something <laughs> cool, and then there's a thousand <laughs> signs that say "Don't even look at the fucking alligators." <laughs> no, that's it's con- that you're thinking of Congo River golfing fun spot. Ah. Fun spot Sorry, has- I mix up my uh, locations of mini golfing and alligators all the what time. What are you guys talking about? This Florida <laughs> extreme golfing in Florida. There's a there's a You're mini golfing my place. Mind at the moment. There's a mini golf place called Congo River Golf, and then at least the one over here they have some alligators like in as part of like the course as decoration. You have to pay to go to <laughs> well, that. Well, over like- here in Australia, we just walk down the street and there's crocodiles walking down. With yeah, there's us, also basically. category six sandstorms, Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things in Australia that we don't have. <laughs> but no, like it, the saddest part is they just keep them in this like enclosed cage in the center of the course, and you think it's going to be like, I don't know, a, a, something oh, cool sad. actually woven into the course, but you just go up to these amazingly 10 foot high fences and you look Yo. through them, and all the gators are just against the side staring at you, like, either feed me or get me the fuck out of here. That's sad. Is, is that just incorporated into like every Florida place? Actually, yeah, it yeah. sounds be. Tries to be, yeah. Jason, you go I don't to know the DMV, ever, uh, it's a giant croc. I don't know if you've uh, <laughs> ever driven on a Florida highway, but the two billboards you will see the most, and I'm actually not exaggerating, are anti-abortion ads and places to go look at alligators. <laughs> <laughs> they go hand in hand. I mean, Charlie, I'm not joking. That's that's probably so true, isn't Florida. it? If they're so common in Florida, why do you need to go somewhere to see them? Because people well, come to Florida to see them. It's for tourism. Like yeah. people aren't just gonna come to Florida and be like, "Well, I, I know if I just get an apartment here, I'll find X amount of alligators." I need like a a fun spot for it. So when I lease this apartment, how many gators does it come with? Six, seven. Yeah. Well, l- allow me to get Jackson out of his shell here. Jason, did you know that the Australians once lost a war against emus? No. <laughs> out of all the creatures over in Australia that we waged war against, emus were the ones that won. Sadly. What does that even mean? It means they won a war and we don't like to talk about it. <laughs> How did they win? <laughs> what did they do? Clearly you're not oh, keeping yeah. up with podcast episodes. We, we went deep into the history of the emu war. I don't like oh to talk about God. it. Their numbers oh. were too great. Beauty killed the beast. So wait, they're gone now? Yeah, the Australians died. <laughs> they are, they're all wiped out. We're, we're on the run. We're, we're always moving. <laughs> <laughs> the emus are hunting for us. <laughs> We're just like roaming data scavengers. No home. No we can't. Home. We can't venture out into the middle of Australia because they overtook that land. Basically, that's their land now. We stick to the coastal <laughs> regions. It's like Mad Max, right? That's like a documentary. That's what it's yeah. based on. Just replace all the you know the warriors and stuff with emus, and that's basically how it went. So, Jason, I'll I'll ask you an actual big boy question, like a like a real topic. Uh, okay. So, a good handful of your videos kind of have like either points or messages to them. Like you did some commentary on reviewers and different gaming practices. 
How much of that comes from you really wanting to get a message out there, and how much of it is just kind of like you're goofing around and talking about some hot button issues? Is that deep enough for you, Leah, or should we just fuck off? <laughs> and a uh, side question: That's if you start. could, if you could answer the side question alongside, uh, how often do you masturbate? <laughs> <laughs> How do you group it? In fact, forget the primary question. Just get to the side question. All right. uh, none, none. I don't do that. Okay, if you could answer the first right, question. question. Oh, okay, okay. I'll do the side part too. All right. Uh, it's, it's some of them. Yeah, I do. I do like to put out a message with them. I like to dick around too. Just put out a goofy video, but yeah. Those are probably my favorite ones where I have, like, a specific thing I want to say. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun to talk about Armand White. Who? Make people more aware. What's Armand White? What is Armand uh, White? What? You guys don't know Armand White? Sounds like a Yu-Gi-Oh villain. Armand. Oh, is this the guy who has to contradict like yeah. every popular opinion yeah. in his reviews no matter what? Well, this is uh, what he does. He goes, you know, on Rotten Tomatoes, he waits for a movie to have like, you know, 300 reviews in. 300 out of 300 of them are like positive. Everybody loves it. Then he comes in. Yeah, this movie is terrible. Uh, this is a horrible movie. <laughs> so and then his, <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. But his review is just like it's impenetrable. It's just incomprehensible. <laughs> like, he's talking about shit. Like, he t Toy Story 3, his review is just, like, psycho babble. It's just the craziest shit. It's about, like, how commercialism, Disney is, like, incorporating commercialism and brainwashing people. And this is just the craziest, most crazy reviews. You have to read. Well, he might be onto something on that one. Yeah, That's real? Disney's taking over. <laughs> He's taking on Disney. Well, getting to a getting to another <laughs> important topic. Well, wait, before we move on, can I read a small excerpt from Armin White's Toy Story 3 review? I'd be insulted if you didn't name you. Oh us. man. So he says, and I quote, while Toy Story's three various hazards and cliffhangers evidence more creativity than typical Pixar product, an Inferno scene was promising lots of hugs, Canali invites mundane insensitivity. I admit to simply not digging the toys come to life fantasy. I don't babysit children, so I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that he just doesn't like the toys coming to life. Yeah, one reason he doesn't like the movie is he's not a babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, stoic That's genius. Fair. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I'm in his corner, though. I didn't, you know, if I was I'm a not babysitter. A babysitter. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, have I, you guys I can't ever think of seen a... uh, Go ahead, Jason. Man of Steel? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How do you guys feel about the movie Man of Steel? I'm not a babysitter, so I don't know. I, I saw... liked <laughs> Ansia Trauer, the lady who played Feora. I thought she was a cutie. Other than that, I don't remember the movie. <laughs> when I saw it, I was really overwhelmed, and it took like three days to figure out what I had just seen. And then as it sit in, I went, oh, wait, that kind of sucked. What the fuck is wrong with you? It wasn't some deep... It wasn't some deep No, movie. I'm not saying... Superman no, not things. positive overwhelmed, you mongoloids. More like, what the <laughs> fuck did I just watch? Like, if you go to Disney World and you're watching the SpongeBob parade, and all of a sudden SpongeBob, his costume lights on fire, and he runs off stage. Three like, days later. Is that part of the show? at Disney? You came to that conclusion of three analogy. days of contemplation and meditation? <laughs> well, I didn't also think about... I don't know. No, okay, three I days know. exaggerating. I'm starting Probably. to think it wasn't very good. No. <laughs> well, Armand White says it's the godfather of superhero movies. <laughs> Well, who am I so, to question Norman White? You're probably just you're probably just too dumb to get the movie, really. Probably. Did well, he, it did, did take me three days to figure it out. Days? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what either of you just said on that. <laughs> we said we said the same thing. It was good. That's that's adorable. He said I'm too dumb to understand it, and I said it. Well, it did take me three days to figure it out. I'm glad we recapped the joke. Now, yeah. now, now I get it. All right, so let's start over. Everyone, can you, you can back up a page in your scripts that we handed out before the podcast? Take okay. it from that one. Jason, do you masturbate? <laughs> uh, yeah. <gasps> oh! You heard Jack it here first. Off going off book. Sort of the script. I was like going that. rogue. 
out of control. No, no, he's in well, the oh God, Liam's taking revenge. I don't, I don't know what to do. We've never, we've never had this question answered before. Where do we go from here? Yeah, we were kidding. Um, wow, I thought you guys liked that. I hate masturbation. I'm a man of God. <laughs> yeah, no, no. We don't like masturbation. That's why we ask it. If you say yes, you get kicked off. Yeah. <laughs> this podcast of God. This is going to be a full <laughs> hour of masturbation. See you guys. Sorry. Every conversation is going to end the same way with us asking about masturbation. I don't think That's so. true. We There's can like always nothing else to talk about, Jackson. Th- this is conception. Y- you are talking to Sir Dunkey here. There is plenty we can talk about. Like, uh, Jason, I-, I know that you enjoy some smaller channels. Is there any that you find particularly fascinating that you'd like to gush about? Ooh. What's that dude with the box, man? Armin White. Ooh, casual gamer read. <laughs> you know, I, I don't want, I, you know, when I when we when we reveal a smaller channel, sometimes they like implode, like that one guy. Yeah, the that little kid. kid. What was his name? Gavin. 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 Yeah, I like some video by Gavin, and then all these mean people went on his thing and like were making comments, and he took his whole channel down. So, oh, Christ. Oh, you gotta be careful. Awful. That's fucked up. That did is you talked to him yeah. since, or did he just disappear? But Reed is a grown man. Uh, He'll I, be fine. Yeah, I never talked to him. I just yeah. liked his video. He was a little kid, and he was, like, doing a review of Golden Corral, I think. Mm-hmm. And he was oh. like, you d- don't go to Golden Corral. If you like good food, go to Burger King. Was he Chinese? <laughs> no, he was, like... <laughs> <laughs> He was like Southern. Well, I mean, if he recommends Burger King, maybe his channel deserved to be shut down. <laughs> <laughs> Community wow. guidelines strikes all three just for the recommendation. Crossing the line. Andrew, Andrew was it there in the comments fighting the good fight, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite review of all time. It's my favorite Listen review. Listen kill here. yourself, kid. <laughs> Burger King? More like fuck yourself, kid. <laughs> <laughs> and then I put in parentheses, Donkey sent me. <laughs> Lay Donkey Army. Lay Donkey Army XD. <laughs> Gavin, always... if you're listening to this, please come on. We'd like to ask you about masturbation. But I guess that's, that does lead <laughs> oh to it. Oh my a... god, he's like seven years old. Yeah, I've been jerking it since I was four. But the, the point is, it leads me to an interesting question that I wanted to ask Jason. Because Jason has, he has a bunch of loyal followers that would follow this man into death. And I, I realized <laughs> that... He can't do a lot of a lot of things that a lot of people take for granted. You know, he can't shout out a, a smaller channel because he'll get attacked. He can't walk outside because he'll get swarmed with wet panties getting thrown at him in every which direction. <laughs> and I wanted to ask you, Dunky, is there sometimes you're like, God damn, I would like to say this, but with the, the people that follow me, it might not go over well. You know, someone might get hurt. You know, has there ever been uh... an instance like that? No. Someone might say get hurt. He says whatever he wants. Yeah, Charlie, you're you're implying that he gives a shit about all these consequences. <laughs> you, you made him sound like I have, like I have the, thought about that though. Like, yeah, like all the videos I used to do, like three or four years ago. And I'm just putting out, you know, this horrible message. Yeah, I've thought about that. You know, try to actually put out more of who I actually am in real life than this character. Yeah. That's that's completely understandable. So would you say that your Sir Donkey character is not Sir Jason? <laughs> Sir that's that's the real that's the real me. Which Sir one's Donkey. which one's Jason? Is Jason Jason or is Sir Donkey Jason? Is Jason Sir Donkey Sir Donkey is the is the real one. Jason, that's more of a facade. <laughs> <laughs> can we have the re- can we have the real Jason on sometime? Is he yeah. in there? I'll talk to him. <laughs> Bring him out. How many how many character personalities are in you? Where's Barry? This is like, this is like split. Like Seven thousand. Oh Jesus. Can you give us Where- a random one right now? Just pull one out of your ass. Just no, fire I, it out. I'm tired of Hedgewig. Hey guys! <laughs> What's happening? Whoa, it's oh. Jason with a weird voice. Oh, uh, it's Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing out here? Oh. He's That's where you've Jason. been hiding. And Jason the whole time. Who is summoned now? So, new, new Jason personality, we got a question for you. Do you masturbate? Oh, yeah! Of course, Bill Cosby masturbates. Well, no, he gets other people to do it for him. 
<laughs> no, Isn't he in prison? prison? I hope. I hope. No, he doesn't get no. anyone to masturbate for him. It's people unconscious. He just masturbates on them. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's like you don't even keep up with Bill Cosby lore. Do you even watch yeah. the anime? <laughs> <laughs> no, I uh, I stopped watching after the uh, trial arc. I think it was a little drier compared to the uh, kids JoJo's the Bizarre Rufy. I can't read Japanese. <laughs> what is hey in Japanese? Konnichiwa. Wouldn't oh, it be like, well, no, isn't it like oi? So would like Japanese Fed Albert be like oi, oi, oi? Isn't that Jewish? <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, <laughs> we're talking about Bill Cosby. No, no, hang on a minute. You better chastise him now, Andrew. You got mad at me because I always made fun of you for being Jewish. You're not gonna say anything That's to him. That's not what Jackson, Jackson did. It's not yeah, even close say, to what he just did. It's not like he was being like a, an asshole about it. Like, yeah, Andrew, isn't that what you Jew people say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a huge <laughs> difference. That's never yeah. what I did. <laughs> Yeah, most of the time. Yeah. Donkey, is there any particular race you don't like? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, wait, don't say that on the stream. Okay. Don't say that on the stream. It's not stream, don't worry. We can cut yeah. this out if it oh, goes against okay. what race we don't okay, like. Okay, let's go. Uh, you know, ooh, Chinese, Mexican, <laughs> black people, you know. Uh, what's the other ones? Goombos. <laughs> the other, any of the other worst time. Uh, mole people. Mm -hmm. Oh well, no wait. We have to. We do have to cut that one out. We have a very high mall people sponsorship on this stream. Oh, we wouldn't want blue apron. Me. Yeah. Uh, the others can stay though. They're, that's fine. We'll we'll keep that yeah. in. <laughs> on a more serious topic though, besides races you'd like to extinguish, uh, Jason, what are some <laughs> other things that you'd like to bring out on your channel? Because right now, obviously, most of it is centered around video games. Is there other things you'd like to branch out into? Uh, yeah, I'd like I'd like to do movie ones. That'd be fun because I I like I like watching your uh, your critical your moist reviews. Oh. <laughs> you got that so wrong. <laughs> yeah. Critical moist reviews. If Sir Those Dunk are a lot of fun. If Sir Donkey <laughs> calls it authentic. that, that's gonna be that's gonna be the new name. It'll be the critical moist reviews. Ooh. <laughs> I like it. Whatever Sir yeah, Donkey like calls it, it's gonna be the new name. <laughs> Didn't you get in trouble for one of your movie ones, though, right? All the time, yeah. All the time. Yeah. So I that's the issue about with it. If we just ignore it, it goes away. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's pretty I've been hesitant because that's kind of shit. So yeah. when you say movies, you mean movie reviews or do you want to make your own type of movies? Oh, just uh, movie <laughs> reviews. Yeah. I don't want to make a movie. Fuck no. <laughs> Jason answer. has written lots of movie reviews. Really? He's written hundreds. Where are oh, these sitting? God. Yeah, don't don't look at them. What? Wait, are they he has a really extensive portfolio. Are they mm. online or is this like in a diary? <laughs> <laughs> On the movie forums. Really? <laughs> yeah. There's oh my a little Easter egg. Are you Armand White? <laughs> <laughs> Stage name. <laughs> This is all just retroactive self-advertisement, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Fucking sick yeah, put them up. They're all on the armonwhite.com. <laughs> Check it out sometime. Does he have his own website? Probably. Well, he's on the he's on a newspaper or something. He's on the New York Times, I think. Newspaper. Jeez. Yeah, there's an old there's an old statement. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. But uh, to bring to the topic with having issues with movie reviews, it seems the only company that really gets up in arms is WWE, because they're the only ones that vehemently <laughs> keep coming after me. What? Wait, really? Yeah, it's the really WWE? weird. Yeah, the WWE, they take uh, Birth of the Dragon very seriously. As soon as it went up, basically, right? Yeah. Wait, what, is, what does the WWE have to do with a Bruce Lee movie? They financed it. <laughs> Produced it. Oh, yeah. okay. Somebody there li really liked what they put out, and we're we're not happy with a five percent. <laughs> I didn't know they still did movies. Five percent? What did they do? Honestly, Kaya, <laughs> it's awful. the worst. It's the worst movie I've seen of 2017. And I've seen a lot of fucking movies this year. Ooh, Birth of the Dragon. Yeah, if you're a Bruce Lee fan, you'll puke. If you're a fan of movies, you'll puke. So it's it's you're not winning. If, if you're you a fan of that. puking, you'll do neither. Oh, the this is the wrestler. movie you told us about, about a documentary about Bruce Lee. Is that it? It, was, it wasn't supposed to be a documentary. It was just supposed to be about his fight with uh, Jack Mann. And uh, it turns out 
it has nothing to do with that fight. Bruce Lee just kind of plays an asshole, and it follows some random Brooklyn kid who falls in love with a waitress. Baby driver. More or less, yeah. It's Baby Driver, but Bruce Lee's there sometimes. <laughs> Sounds like a good movie, but yeah, I feel you. I'd recommend you watch it. Jason, What are we, since you brought up movies, what is your favorite movie of 2017? Uh, did you guys see the Tommy Wiseau one? That was pretty good. Classic, yeah. And Blade Runner, that was a good one. Oh, Blade Runner was fantastic. Also good. How about the opposite uh, end of the spectrum? Least favorite. I don't know. I didn't really see a crappy one this year. Just been seeing like uh, ones that are kind of in the middle. You're, you're telling me you only go watch good movies? What's wrong with you? Goodness. Star man. Wars was pretty good. That was pretty good. If Sir <laughs> Donkey likes it, I like it. Fuck it. Yeah, it was good. When I was watching your review, you said, I don't, I don't want to, I don't know if you want to put this in a podcast, but you said that one of the most important characters died off screen. Oh, not Admiral uh, Akbar. Yeah, Akbar. What? <laughs> you didn't yeah. even know he died. <laughs> what do you mean? That's, that's what, Akbar that's what died? died? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> they, they cut, when the explosion hits the bridge of the uh, cruiser and kills Leia for that oh, brief yeah. part, he flies out and then like shortly he after they go, well, Admiral Akbar's gone. Oh <laughs> my God! Yeah, that's it. Wow. That, you just proved that that's point Jason's ten times. Yeah, the character. movie went by really. F- the movie, the pacing was like just yeah, the like slam really bam, bam just so fast. I couldn't tell what was happening. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, we had to deliver the bad news to <laughs> <Yeah>. you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's gone. Are He's gone. you okay? That's Jason's favorite character. Um, I didn't. I didn't want to be the one to tell you Santa Claus isn't real, Christ. I'm oh, sorry. maybe maybe we should back up a bit. Spoilers if you haven't seen the last. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's really not even minutes. important. It's it's really not even important to the movie at all. By, like, they don't by, even I care. Mean, by this point, it'll be out of theaters when this goes up. So, any, who cares? No, this is going up next week. This movie's going to be in the theaters for the next three months. Fuck. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, that just helped really prove my point. It, nothing really had a whole lot of weight in the movie. How is it doing uh, in the box office? Uh, they, 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 they put the weight in the wrong area. Haven't seen it yet, yeah. but people are so kind of polished. Happy. The like casino Marvel world was such kinda. a waste of time. I fucking hate that place. <laughs> Brings me to our next question. You a big gambler, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> no. How much have you lost over the years? Yeah. I've never <laughs> been to Vegas or a casino in my whole life. Oh, really? really? Should we talk no. about our rock? Uh, what is it? What the fuck is it? Hard rock? <laughs> yeah, hard Story rock. of Charlie? Oh, Kyle yeah. left. Kyle's, Kyle's oh. left the call. <laughs> he, he wants no part of he the He didn't gambling. like the spoiler. He didn't like the spoilers. He was <laughs> playing the scene still. He's fine for masturbation, but, oh, gambling? <laughs> Too far. Should we uh, give him a few minutes, or? <clears throat> it's no. fine. Let it roll. No, I don't right, know what you're going to talk about it. Hard well, rock. I mean, the Nothing hard rock was just, happened. it was just an interesting experience, because we went to the hard rock thinking it was going to be like this fun gambling fun night of debauchery and yay win money but it was just the most miserable place I mean, just I, everyone <laughs> looked horrifically upset and just dark and gloomy and oddly quiet it was how know, many alligators were there only only four which is like a record low for florida Jesus. i mean it, it, casinos are what you make of them if you go there with the intention of spending money and having a good time getting some drinks and stuff it can be fun which i've been doing well, no, I didn't get any drinks. Neither did you. What are you talking about? Don't try and act cool in front of Sir Dunkey. Why didn't you we didn't have get a, any drinks? <laughs> you didn't have a single fucking sip of alcohol. Why didn't we get any drinks? <laughs> well, I don't remember why. But yeah. you, went to a, you went to a casino and you didn't drink? Look, yeah. Charlie, all I know is that when we left, I walked away having won $25 and you uh, lost 50 Yeah, I did. Damn. You've got a problem, Charlie. Well, I, I rarely go, but the, I've, been, I've been to a casino before. The last time I went was a lot more fun, but I was also coked out of my mind, and I don't know how much money I blew it. What? You were yeah, coke? back up. Yeah. What? This took a turn. <laughs> Wait, you were on coke? Do yeah. you know what coked out means? But I didn't know that. Yeah, and then, but it was a lot more fun, and it was a lot less Well, because you were depressing. on coke! What is happening right now? <laughs> Jesus. I didn't know you did hard drugs. Is this well, an intervention? No, it, that was Do you my. Need help? That was only my like twenty, thirty, fiftieth time doing it. It wasn't bad, so it was still when I was an amateur. But it was a lot more fun. <laughs> you can handle it a lot better. Now. Yeah, I you can't see tell me if you're there. kidding. <laughs> it's a champ. No, I am <laughs> kidding. I, I've only done it like, you know, uh, you know, like a normal are, number Jason, of times, what, like twelve Jason, or thirteen. What, Jason, what hard drugs do you do? Uh, you know, heroin, crack, uh, 
It's disgusting. Do a morphine. No. Do the, uh... Jason is completely clean. Ew. He's Good. never done a single drug. Boo. Really? Not even the uh, marijuana? Devil's lettuce. No. I didn't even smoke a cigarette. <laughs> well, cigarettes are fucking Yeah, that I can yeah. rally behind. Yeah. 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 Yucky. Also, just to clear my name before it starts to spread that I'm some type of secret druggie, it was only my second <laughs> time doing coke. <laughs> second time? Second, so- huh? <laughs> okay. You liked it enough the first time. Yeah, Charlie, so you went go back for more. Tell us more of this tale of you doing coke <laughs> and going to the casino. This sounds like a wonderful night. Uh, if I could remember more of it, I'd be sure to tell you. I used to respect you. <laughs> Did you win money? Yeah, it was. I was just saying it's what, what you make of it. That was the point I was trying to make. I didn't want this to turn into some type of intervention. So, if you what, do, about, what about what about you, Leia? How many uh, drugs have how, you done? Or how good is your coke? <laughs> Um, uh, I used to smoke weed in high school, but I've been on the straight and narrow since then. <laughs> All right, and here. while you were That's on the straight and narrow, which yeah. drugs did you do? <laughs> Jason keeps me in check. He's oh. not down with that so, kind of thing, you know? So wait, you're, no saying, if, uh, you're saying if Jason's gone, you're just going to go straight to like heroin? <laughs> <laughs> just, just all the coke that you can find? Your anchor's gone now. <laughs> Jason, if you ever fucking leave me, I'm going to dime bag like no tomorrow. <laughs> Doing rails in the bathroom. <laughs> he texts her, he's going to be home late, and she's like, all right, break out the powder. <laughs> Can't take it. <laughs> No, you know, we have a glass of wine together. We have a good time. Well, yeah, <laughs> yes. alcohol's not really a drug. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, it is a, it is a drug, <laughs> well, technically, I guess. You you guys sound like a wholesome Mormon couple. It's like, yeah, occasionally we stay up past 9.30. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell the neighbors. Past our bedtime. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, we gotta go to bed, guys. So it's oh, been great. Uh, <laughs> Damn it, Andrew. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you... You blew it. Oh. Once a oh. month, we watch an R-rated movie. <laughs> I have to close my eyes during the violent parts, though. <laughs> we leave the lights on when we go to bed. We make sure to pray before and after we watch it. <laughs> Fast forward to kissing. <laughs> <laughs> we only watch the edited for TV versions. If all the gay characters removed. <laughs> what? What? Oh, you guys! Like, now oh, we don't time. like gay people. Oh, that's he's talking about the. I don't know if you guys keep up with the the internet drama, but some father edited all of the new Star Trek season, so there were no gay characters in it. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh that's my what his gosh. son wanted. He's a good parent. <laughs> that was his Christmas gift. But it, it, it was some guy who, <laughs> according to him, his children just wouldn't watch it <clears throat> with the gay characters in it. His kids, for some <laughs> reason, believed that it was wrong. <laughs> so he had to do oh, a fan for some edit reason. of the new show. What's it called? Star Trek Discovery? Something like so. that, right? He edited yeah, the so whole. He made his own whole version of series more... of TV. He edited like a whole season of it? Yeah. What the hell? He did a painstaking fan oh. edit of the whole thing where he made it more, <laughs> in his own words, more vague. He said he didn't remove the gay characters, <laughs> he just left it up to interpretation. <laughs> It was a creative decision. That's pretty artistic. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, in real life, you can never know. What a brave Who's man. gay? Yeah. <laughs> I like to think all of us are gay. It just makes sense. Hashtag easier. me too. <laughs> Hashtag I'm gay. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of hardcore drugs, Donkey, <laughs> Jason, do you ever miss League of Legends? Mm, uh, no. I don't know. In like I any, miss playing any with my friends. I miss playing with friends. You know, it's a good game to play with your friends. I feel like it's a bad game to play with your friends. Yeah, that's that too. <laughs> <laughs> well, glad, glad we got that. <laughs> Schrodinger's <laughs> game. It, it I mean, really it's good. good. It can have five people. You know, some games you can't like. What was that? Star Wars Battlefront Two. You couldn't even like invite a friend to play with you. Which one? Uh, the new one, Star Wars Battlefront 2. I, don't, I, th- I heard like you couldn't invite friends or something. I didn't have that experience. I could invite friends. Oh. Stop shilling for Star Wars. <laughs> well, I don't know. It's a bad game. Don't get me wrong. It's awful. But I could invite you friends. You have it installed. All right. <laughs> Show them how awful it is. Well, maybe yeah. the first one you couldn't. 
You know, that f I feel like that's something EA would leave out. Just inviting friends. Well, what's the purpose like that of was that? That doesn't make their money unless they like <laughs> sell it as an addition. I don't now, know. You can play with friends if you buy the friend pass. Yeah, I was going to say, imagine if inviting friends was a microtransaction. Pay us like oh, two ninety nine in Starbucks and you can in Ooh. party up with a friend for this game oh, session. Oh god, that, that is going to happen, surely. It will be. Jesus. <clears throat> If net neutrality gets repealed, huh, huh, huh. Earth will tilt out of orbit. <laughs> Agent Pi is coming for all of us. With his 64-ounce well, Reese's mug. Since we just brought up video games again and scummy practices, I'm sure you're aware of the Activision patent that they recently did. <laughs> matchmaking. It, yeah, the matchmaking. Do you know about that, Jason? Where it, uh, it matches you. It matches, like, the shitty player up against the dude who, like, bought guns. Mm-hmm. That yeah. thing. Really? What's <laughs> about? <laughs> I don't know about oh, wow. it. Tell me. It's it's bleeding edge technology, Kai. I don't think you'd understand it. <laughs> They're trying to patent the use of like matchmaking algorithm or some shit that'll match like new players against people who purchased like weapons. It's like psychological warfare. They're trying to, to get, try and like, pressure them into yeah. buying. Stuff. Yeah, so they have no chance against the big people. <laughs> also, pardon the noise. Jackson's closing his meat cellar. I think he, I think he <laughs> fell down. Oh, Jackson's gosh. the resident noise artist. He, he's like the upstairs neighbors in the apartments. He's always got some type of new way of making a lot of loud, obnoxious noise. <laughs> it's great. You got a small snippet of it there, and now he's disappeared to go take care of whatever <laughs> infestation he's unleashed. He's bringing I in the elephants. I mean, that, that that brings me to my next topic, Jason. Uh, you, you like the food reviewer, huh? <laughs> Was, so woefully yeah. unprepared. <laughs> yeah, he came back. That? He came back. I, I, had... I think he's gone now. Is he still gone now? Every time he promises to come back, like once he gets in his schedule, he's like, yeah, I have all these big plans, and then he disappears that's when again. You know, that's, the, that's the telegrapher. Uh, he's gone. <laughs> No one knows like, the yeah, food reviewer. I'm back. I'm back in the action. Uh, I got big things lined up, you know. Boom. Uh, next week, I'm going to put out seven videos. And then, he boom, gone for like two years. <laughs> oh, I'm actually friends with the food reviewer on Steam. We go way back. I used to play on his Minecraft server. Ooh. Didn't he kick you out? He kicked me out. <laughs> you know, it was only him then. and one other guy. And he kicked me off. Ooh. This is my he, server. Yeah, I'm in he control. Said, <laughs> he said if you were a girl on the server, you could only stay if you're blonde and you have big boobs. <laughs> oh, wow. so, <laughs> help, help cue in the uh, the viewers at home who are extremely confused. Who is this person? The food okay. reviewer. Food reviewer, you know, one of the most prestigious uh, YouTube channels out there. Similar to, you know, that... Uh, Review of the week, who goes around, he eats, like, the new Taco Bell taco. Mm -hmm. He's kind of like that. Okay. But he sometimes he makes food. Those are his best videos. And he's into big, blonde boobs. Is, is that it? Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, that was that five was years back. ago. That was a phase. Now he likes <laughs> trains. <laughs> trains? Yeah. Fuck women. Hey, I'm all aboard the 812 <laughs> Express. <laughs> If choo you're not choo. a train, get off my server. <laughs> woo woo, motherfuckers. <laughs> Next stop, loneliness. Choo choo. Uh, yeah, he's an interesting guy. I wish I could sum summarize my life with such a like baseless ideal like that. Like, yeah, I stopped talking to all women so I could focus more on trains. <laughs> I've always oh, wished wow. I could just do that. <laughs> you can do that. I mean, yeah. what do you? That's a good question, Jason. What do you think? would be a passion strong enough that you would just give up what you're doing now entirely for it. Like, you have to shut down your channel, never do any streams again, ever. And women. But you become... And yeah, become any, anything, yeah, anything else of passion. But it's like a... Um, yeah, something you would strive for. Well, probably uh, not trains. I mean, that's kind of childish. Probably semi, <laughs> semi-trucks. Ooh. I'm playing the truck, uh, truck simulator. Ooh, like, I'd probably really get into that. Oh, I... I can't say I don't respect that. <laughs> Unfortunately, Tesla's taken that away from you very soon, Jason. Well, he can get a Tesla truck and That's just true. sit in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's all, the fun of that. all the fun of owning a truck without the fun of driving it. 
<laughs> just sit in it. At that point, it's just more of a universal ride than anything. <laughs> Can they not get the, the trucks to go on electricity or something? I don't, I'm not. There's the self driving. Yeah, I'm not sure. Elon Musk. They're I don't know how it works. Self driving? Why do you keep saying Ellen? <laughs> it's Elon. Elon Musk. Why do I keep saying Ellen? I don't know. I, don't, I fucking don't know. I said benighted earlier. I'm all over the place. <laughs> it's the coke, man. It's fucking with you. It's get, it's getting to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're right. Putting holes in your brain. <laughs> it's, it's like it's, old school drug propaganda now. <laughs> it's killing your brain cells. <laughs> it's stealing your lunch money. Well, it's fucking your girlfriend. <laughs> Didn't you ever see that video in high school with Lincoln Park and the kid does coke <laughs> and it starts playing Lincoln Park? I can't say I I've seen that. I hate came so far and <laughs> lost it all. And they tell the story about some dude who got a, some kid who got addicted to drugs. That would make me want to do drugs more. <laughs> Those yeah. things never work. Never. That's a terrible yeah. idea. Kids love Linkin Park. It's horrible. <laughs> like, oh, you, you do drugs, you're going to hear this awesome music that you love and you're going to feel great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ever... Uh, uh, I don't know. I, th I think advertising like that definitely has the wrong impact. Like all those anti-smoking ads. Like a lot of them, I'm like, that looks fucking cool as hell. Smoking is just gross, though. It is, yeah. but like, smoking's also really cool, Jackson. Let's not mince words. Only for a little. It while. depends. It's just it's one of those things that's only cool when handsome people do it. Yeah, when it's stylized. You're like watching Mad Men, you're watching Don Draper smoke. You're like, oh yeah, yeah. I want to smoke. I want to cheat on my wife, but it doesn't. Ha it doesn't work that way when you have my face. It just, <laughs> I'm not John Ham. <laughs> I, I think you're better than John Ham, Kaya. Oh, thank you for lying to my face like that. Anytime, <laughs> you snake. So well, that Jason, brings me. Oh, oh God, nope, nope. No, you, 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 you let's all go at the same time. You were Holy louder, Jesus. Charlie. All right. So, Jason, you you do some odd streaming on Twitch every now and then. It's not something you do, you know, super frequently. But are you satisfied with Twitch as a, a platform, as a company? Do you like what it's become? How do you feel about Twitch? Uh, that's all right. I did get in trouble a couple of times. They said I can't do prank calls. Oh. Otherwise, I'll get kicked off. Really? Did you tell them you're Sir Donkey? Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, why? It holds why? no weight in Twitch. They lines. didn't care. Yeah. Hang on, I'm actually curious. Why did do they not allow prank calls? I don't know. They they don't it's allow. The, you can't you can't do nothing. You can't. Do it's prank not gaming calls. related. I mean, I assume you didn't just like reveal the phone numbers on stream or anything, right? I don't think so. That's weird. You can't. You can't. Uh, Stream uh, the new Star Wars. You can't watch it on stream. Watch the new Star Wars film. Well, I should hope so. <laughs> that, that's, uh, that's not that weird. Can't do anything, really. <laughs> their, uh, their, their policies on copyright, though, are the most vague shit on earth. I uh, emailed them a couple days ago because I wanted to know if you could like stream public domain movies. Like, just, just no copyright, yeah, nothing. Why not? Uh, yeah, exactly. And I, I, I mailed their legal team. They have, like, a legal email. And I was like, hey, I, I want to show a, co a public domain movie and talk over it. Is that cool? And all they said was, like, they gave me a three-paragraph summation of, like, it's up to you, the streamer, to know your responsibilities <laughs> of what is copyright protector and what just isn't. Just say yes or you no. You follow no, these no. guidelines and, you know, it is not our call to tell you what is. like. It's like, I just want a yes or no. Like, I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> well, it's not like, alcohol, what? but when you do it, they'll ban you. That's so. exactly the problem. Like, if, if I, I think, so public domain to me means no copyright, so it's fine. But if they ban me for it, it's like, well, what the fuck was I supposed to, how was I supposed to know? Well, that's the thing that big tech companies do, though. Uh, it's on purpose. It's they want to do this, where they keep their laws and rules as vague and loose as possible. Yeah. So when yeah. they have to apply them, they can apply them after, you know, they take into account their own politics and opinions. Yeah, I mean, so if you say something, we got the rule. Like, I don't like the titty. Screeners. Don't do anything bad. Uh, the rule's there, so he did yeah. something bad. I mean, so. it's, yeah. they put you in a room with a box. And they tell you to reach your hand in, and it may or may not have scorpions in it. And when you're like, does the box have scorpions? They go, you know, it probably doesn't, but it could. And then when you get stung, they're like, it's your fault. You fucking put your hand in there. Even you though we told you to. Schrodinger's cat. That's just the principle of Schrodinger's cat. But the Schrodinger's cat doesn't have scorpions. That's not at all. Yeah. Also, yeah, Jackson, that is not. Yeah, the cat doesn't attack not... you. 
well, yeah, but, but, no, that's the principle yeah. of uncertainty. I'm talking about the idea of authority. The and that concludes today's yes. lesson. Jackson, and I would imply that confused. Twitch also doesn't know, which isn't just, mm. it's not true. Okay, yeah, that's a good, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. Do you keep up with internet drama at all, Jason? Uh, no. No. Don't even say yes. He's the least interested in any drama. That's I, not true. I know the latest drama. What's new? <laughs> what, give me the lowdown. Remember that uh, <laughs> that guy on YouTube with kids? His, oh, Daddy05? Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that's the latest thing, right? <laughs> oh, that that's, was... That was wild. Damn that dude, man. <laughs> I can't believe this shit. Pretty sure his kids graduated college last year. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh. What is the latest uh, drama these days? Jason, I don't know. he's Doctor just disrespect. like so yeah. disinterested in drama. I think that's I think that's. I a tried good to tell good. him about yeah, good. some stuff and he just like, he's just like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's addicting, at least in my experience. I find it just so interesting and fun to watch from a distance and see things unfold. I, I find it's the same reason as to why reality TV shows are so popular. But but it's yeah. not really. It's you can. T it's a lot easier to tell. Well, not easier. Everyone knows reality TV shows are fake. Mm. But on the internet, you can tell what's fake and avoid that. But there's like actual petty squabbles. Where there's some man children getting upset it's, about some petty it's stuff. It's hammed up. It's hammed up online as well. Oh, well, they know absolutely. They're getting attention. But it's fun to watch from a distance. It's like the WWE when they're not taking down my videos. It's fun to watch. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you say that it's sort of not true with the from the distance part. Sometimes you and I we always talk about how we wish some big YouTuber would talk shit about us for the views. <laughs> well, that's more just as a joke. Like, oh I hope my somebody. Gosh, is this true? Yeah, that's scummy, Charlie. How well, no, no, for the, for the podcast. <laughs> for the views. For, for the for fucking the podcast. Yeah, it's a joke. Jason, Jesus. When, this is for the fun. Charlie, when are you going to tell Jason about the disc video that you made of him? Where you just lambast him for a solid hour and everything he's oh ever my done. God. <laughs> is that why you invited him on? <laughs> yeah, to just to insult him to his face. That's why it's why I brought him here. <laughs> it's coming, Jason. Okay. <laughs> there will be no retaliation, I swear to God. I'm ready. Ruthless. <laughs> He's so unfazed. I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. My career could go down instantly, but I'm ready. Oh, oh, yeah, like Charlie would have any dent in that. We have <laughs> like, that power, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. I want to impress our new friend. You don't want to fuck with Charlie. His diss tracks will take you down. <laughs> the man can take a tube up the penis. Think what it'll do with you. Oh, <laughs> oh I did see... Uh... Remember that dude, he made the diss track about Ethan. Remember that one? Oh. Ethan, you gotta stop oh. eating snacks. Oh yeah, we watched that at his house. <laughs> oh. He sounds like a nagging oh. grandmother. Was it Rice Gum? <laughs> was that what you were referring to? Yeah. Was that who it was? Yeah, Rice Gum. Yeah, he got, he got at him hard, man, with that line. He <laughs> came in fast and furious. Ethan, oh. you gotta stop having snacks. You're getting too fat. That was the exact delivery. It was a rap song. That that was my delivery was a hundred percent correct to the song. It's a hard ass beat. It's like boom, 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 boom. Ethan, you gotta stop having snacks. Please start eating healthy. <laughs> An apple a day, please, Ethan. Well, I guess he does. Yikes! The call out was too hard. Wow. Uh, is Ethan okay? Like, is his channel still up? That's, that's, I don't know. That's a little much. I think it got taken down after that. Probably. YouTube was like, <laughs> I'm sorry, after that burn, we cannot have you on this website anymore. If you want to defend yourself, Ethan, we can give you a platform. <laughs> We're the only Forget about your own podcast. <laughs> We're the only bastion left here. Uh, Good God. Well, Donkey, so since Leah had kind of gave you the lowdown on what to expect when coming on, and unfortunately she was 100% true to form here and hit the nail on the head... <laughs> No, I'm what, sorry. What did you expect coming into this Thunderdome, Jason? Uh, I thought I was going to get yelled at. <laughs> <laughs> what, did we bring you in here to spy us or Leia? I was going to get hit. <laughs> what is, is this a cry for help? What is Leah doing? Yes. This is not a torture dungeon. Okay, that's, that's better than what I envisioned. <laughs> that's good. He's been expecting it for the last 50 minutes. Just waiting, tensed up. This is fun, though. This is fun. I, I guess it, that's a glowing endorsement we can put on the back of the Blu-ray box for the first season. It's better than torture. <laughs> <laughs> it 
Glad I love the video. This is fun. <laughs> I swear I'm having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least, you know, we haven't paid you off to say that because we have no money. That's true. We're way too broke for that. What? Oh, I take that back. This, is, oh, this no. is stupid. We've, we've already got it on the beat. We've already got Unless it. Unless you guys know. Andrew's typically got a ton of humdingers here. I think, Sir Dunkey, you've kind of flustered him. Andrew, what's cooking on your noggin over there? It, about what? That's what I like to hear. So, <laughs> Jason, <laughs> oh he, doesn't, he doesn't even know he's on a podcast anymore. I was going to oh, ask... Good uh, questions? Yeah. But no, I was going to ask about what's a, uh, the public domain. Are there actually any good movies in the public yes. domain? Yes. Uh, the original Night of the Living Dead is perfectly public domain. Oh, wow. Because back in the 70s, uh, copyright law was a bit different than it is now, and they fucked up in the credits of the movie, and through like some technicalities, <laughs> that movie is now 100% public domain. That's how it did, that's how it's determined by the end credits. I think so. Back when movies were still kind of up an up and coming thing, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm gonna double check, but I swear to God, Night of the Living Dead or some like really classic horror movie is completely public domain. That's it. That's yeah. the only one. What about <laughs> Huh? A Braxis? Oh yeah. That might be. Is that? What's a Braxis? I like to imagine the only movie that's public domain is Living Dead <laughs> because they fucked up. Usually I think public domain, I think like the free ones on YouTube that nobody will bother to take down because it's such a piece of shit. Those are my favorite. <laughs> like some Indian, oh, yeah. like a three hour Indian movie. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, those are great. It's like Do the crazy ass special effects. Do you ever watch oh, any of those, Jason? Like the Rhapsody Street Kids. Oh, rap cities believe in Santa. Oh, I was, yeah. I was the one who found that. I brought that to the mainstream. That was you me. did? I totally saw it on your Twitter, I bet. God, I love rap cities. But do you ever watch anything like that, Jason or Leah? Do you guys ever just gather around and watch something by Cunt Tolgar on YouTube? Oh, yeah. oh Charlie, they oh, are okay. amateurs. So would they know? She made me watch the one, Abraxas. <laughs> what? What? Abraxas the fucking something. dish wops Guardian washing of the soap? universe. <laughs> He's Jesse Ventura. I think he's the Terminator. No, no, no. It's a low rate Terminator. Oh movie wait, and is that that movie where it's like a rip off of Terminator and it's Jesse yeah. Ventura and during the movie and he's like, it's the Culminator. Yeah, I think I've seen that. Tommy, run! Tommy, run! <laughs> that's the that's the movie. Yeah. <laughs> I've, what is this called? A, a, a Braxis? <laughs> a Braxis Guardian of the Universe. Uh, Holy shit, Guardian of the Universe? They were just oh. like well, fucking yeah. walking around behind trees and shit the whole movie. They were just in the forest. <laughs> With, like, it's supposed to be a sci-fi movie? They were just like, they shot that whole thing in a forest. It's like you a know. lower budget we than fucking do, uh, Blair Witch. You guys and us, we should do some sort of a Marvel Avengers get together and watch the shittiest movie together. Ooh, I'd be no. down. Five <laughs> or six of us, because Charlie and I, were big time into that. We tried the Finnish Hobbit, Hobbit it. You guys hear of that? <laughs> No. Hobbit? Hobbit? The no. Hobbit? Hobbit it. Yeah, it's Hobbit on YouTube it. too. What is that? It's older is that than like the Lord Hobbit? of the Rings movies, but it's basically just the Hobbit as the Finnish people made the movie 20 or so <laughs> years ago. Oh, man. Oh, is it worse than the real Hobbit movie? It's, uh, yeah, I it's worse than anything. snuff films. Yes, yeah, I couldn't <laughs> fucking see anything. <laughs> Occasionally, I get a glimpse of this like greasy goblin in the cave that I'm guessing is Schlegel. I wouldn't see a greasy cave. They just didn't turn the goblin. light on for the whole movie. It's the darkest movie I've ever seen in my fucking life. Apparently, oh there was something gosh. there, according to Kaya, but I couldn't see it on my computer at all. Yeah. Sounds like a good movie. Would, yeah, we like we like to watch those. What Cunt Tolgar makes some good ones. Kaya and I've watched quite a few of Cunt Tolgar's movies. Cunt I haven't Tolgar. heard of Cunt. It's no. Turkish, it's K-U-N-T. So what he does is Kunt. he takes popular American franchises and he Turkishizes the, the, them, I guess. I don't know. He makes them Turkish. Mm -hmm. This is the point. Like, he has Turkish Star Wars, Turkish Spider-Man, Turkish oh. Captain oh. America. I Turkish, <laughs> Star Wars. Turkish Star Wars. Yeah, that was a great film. You saw Turkish Star Wars? Yeah. Yeah, they kept fucking playing the Indiana Jones music yeah. like the first three <laughs> seconds of it like a hundred <laughs> times in a row. Yeah, that's, that's Cunt Tolgar. 
Yeah. It was just kept playing. Oh, I think that dude, like, they had like six machines with the Indiana Jones just the first 10 seconds of that theme, and they kept pressing the button. Now, like, every scene nonstop, they just kept turning now, it on. Now, is that better than his um, amazing classic, The Return of Superman? Which features <laughs> oh, the uh, plot, and I quote, born out of a Christmas ornament filled heaven, Turkish <laughs> Superman fights the mob to save the day. Kind of, I've seen that. Ooh, how was it? <laughs> it's true, he does fight the mob. <laughs> he just fights the mafia. It's not even some Why supernatural it entity. He just fights the low life crime syndicate in his local neighborhood. <laughs> it's a space alien, comes Smart. down and stops the fucking local. Hoodlums. <laughs> I prefer Here Turkish Star Wars. Yeah. You'd like Turkish Star Wars, Jackson. It's right up your alley as a tar- uh, Star Wars fan. Does Admiral Akbar die? I don't even think he knew who Ak- uh. Admiral Akbar was. I don't know. There's just a bunch of cavemen <laughs> and mummies for some reason. Is there any reference to Star Wars other than John Williams' music from fucking Indiana Jones? Yes, actually. <laughs> one of the mummies drinks blood using a suey straw. That, that's out of Star Wars, right? <laughs> Yeah, episode six. <laughs> uh, a new hope. It's what the emperor does. Mummies drink blood. <laughs> with, uh, the with the straw. With the how silly they stay straw. young? <laughs> it's how you get the powers of the force? You need the silly straw. I, I like Turkish this. People are born. I like this tangent. It makes me really want to watch more cunt Tolgar. Yeah, I mean we could. Yeah. Tunk. Tunk. Cunt. cunt. <laughs> how are you gonna forget a name like cunt? Is it? Oh, it's with a K. Yes. Is that normal in Turkey? Cunt. Yeah, there's a lot of cunts over there. <laughs> it, it doesn't have it doesn't have Star Wars listed on the movies. Yeah, his IMDb is pretty sparse. It's, it's called Turkish Star Wars. It doesn't. No, yeah, yeah, it doesn't. I, mean, yeah. I, I wasn't expecting to see the authentic Star Wars under his list. <laughs> I just mean I can't see the. Uh, fake oh one. my God! Are you? Are you stupid? It's called Dunyahi Katarin Adam, or the man oh, who yeah, saves it's... the world. Yeah. Duh. Sorry. Did, did they not get the real Star Wars there? <laughs> I guess yeah. they couldn't license it for their knockoff shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, he just fucking, like, they were about to show the thing, and he just swapped it out with that shit. <laughs> this, uh, this, My this movie's is better. fucking, this is amazing. I've never once read a plot summary that just likened the plot to other movies. So, it, from, from Turkish Star Wars, he tried to defeat Earth, but was always repelled by a shield of concentrated human brain molecules, which looks like the Death Star from Star Wars. <laughs> Literally, their own movie summary has, like, references to Star Wars four different times. It, it, says, it says, although the movie borrows some background footage from Star Wars, the plot is unrelated. Is that, uh, well, is that I guess that's true. Yeah, At I'll some point during much. the movie, the... Death Star blows up, but you don't know why. <laughs> it does. Most yeah. of the yeah, I want to see yeah. this. Most of the movie takes place in caves with mummies and some. Yeah, yeah. that's how I remembered. Was like fucking Vikings and yeah, sand. Yeah. This movie looks badass. It was great. That was Charlie. Do favorites. you remember the first Turkish animated movie that we watched? It was like Star Force fourteen eighty eight or something like that. Yeah, it was. It was, it was the one I recommended. It was. Uh, what was it called? It was something over the top. It was like Danger Force in Space Turbo Mode. Yeah, yeah. That was also good. <laughs> well, but we, we should change topic, though. I mean, we could go on for hours on this one, but let's get to something more relevant to Sir Dunkey since we don't want to blow this opportunity. <clears throat> so, Sir Dunkey, when it comes to making video game centered content, a lot of people just kind of fade, not fade into like Let's Plays or anything like that, but, you know. You like making that kind of, you know, video game stuff? You like that? What was your question? <laughs> what yeah, was the question? What's that? You need Are you to having... lay off the coke, dude. I like right. video games. Yeah, you fan? I mean, I'm not I'm not getting sick of it. There's so much crazy shit now coming out, man. It's like an explosion of shit. You know, so many mm-hmm. uh, indie guys coming out. Yeah. There's a lot of those. The indie games are getting crazy. Did that answer your question, Charlie? I, I didn't have a question, really. Is there anything kind of underground or lesser known that you want to maybe bring up on the podcast as a like, first reveal of something you're into? Maybe a game or a movie or TV show or something that you haven't really talked about that you've gotten into recently? Before, oh, shit. Yeah. Before so you like answer first, that, I, I like how we keep asking him to bring up things by name, even though he told us the one time he did that, the kid got a harassed and deleted his channel. Well, I mean, this the podcast <laughs> oh, is perfect, that was though. An isolated incident, I'm sure. Yeah, and the podcast <laughs> is perfect because no one's going to watch it. 
No, oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Wow. Do you have that kid's home address? <laughs> it's it's, it's okay. a safe spot. Yeah, follow up question, Jason. What's your social security number? Uh, you guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> Three, four, two. Hey. Seven, two, nine. That's ah, Leah's security number. Eight, seven, six, two. Ooh. She's smothering him. <laughs> She's choking him out. <laughs> Smothering him. No, what's your what's your secret game? The secret game. Secret game. What's the secret oh, game with Donkey? Yeah. I'm always hiding those for like a video. Oh no! Come on, come on! Give us super one. Super hot. I'll give you super hot. Did you guys play that yet? Yeah, super hot's really good. Yeah. I just beat that one. How'd you like it? That was pretty awesome. It was like a video game version of Video Drone. Did you play it on a VR or on like P- PC? No, I just or... played it normal. Because with uh, on the VR version, so you have the two guns in your hands, and since you know you can't really with the controllers do certain things, you uh, block bullets with the guns in your hands. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. It's really cool looking. You should give it a shot if you have any of those setups. <laughs> Which VR do you have? I, I've only seen footage of it. I want to get it though. <laughs> well, what the heck? I know, I'm a fraud and a con man. What can I say? You, 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 you nailed him. <laughs> if you push him for any kind of these like answers, he usually just buckles anyway. <laughs> it usually it'll change his mind sometimes. Oh yeah, I guess I guess Magic the Gathering isn't for real men. <laughs> That's the manliest thing I do, Charlie. Oh, we like Magic the Gathering. Yeah. Uh-oh. We're See? Out it's three v three. See, they understand. I know. We, know, we don't know the together. rules, though. We play, and <laughs> our friend Woa knows all, every rule. It's fun to play with him, but if me and Leah play, we'll just we'll get confused. Would you say yeah, Magic's the most intensive testosterone-filled game to exist? Yeah, it's high intensity. Uh, you know, the, uh, no wimps, no wimps out here. Uh, <laughs> ask Andrew. We were wrong. Ask Andrew's favorite card. I'm not doing that. What's your favorite? No, card? I'm not doing that. What's your Why? favorite card, Andrew? He's trying to make it know. seem like my favorite card matters. What's your favorite card, Andrew? He always talks about it. Yeah. Is it such fog? Because I've so been asked that a... exact question it three sandwich? separate times. <laughs> That's like me going, it's oh, like Jackson, the... tell me how you like Star Wars. And then I immediately followed up with, oh, he's always talking about Star Wars. <laughs> Is it a squirrel it's card? It's a mystic, mystic owl. Wow, he named it on the first guest. <gasps> It's just kind of become a running gag because when Andrew first brought up going to a magic tournament, he he labeled it as like a high testosterone <laughs> event, <laughs> and it just kind of become a, a running joke. We've yeah. been to magic tournaments. Well, oh, I, like, no, I like, like card games. It's just out, of way. out of context, it gets intense, man. Out of context, it sounds like I'm being a stupid idiot. The, the idea no, is I was trying uh, to get the point across that magic is a very male dominated game. It is. Yeah. Like, literally, for every, if you go to a big event, I would say, no exaggeration, for every 100 guys, there's one woman. I don't I mean, know. That's being generous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, Pete Spogdar the over girl. here ran with it as me as a declaration of magic is the manliest thing you can do. <laughs> Jason, I, Jason and Lee, I urge you to go back through the podcast lore and, and revisit mm. some of the older episodes. When okay. he brings it up, All and right. we're talking about what he did in his vacation, he brought up magic. He he said almost verbatim, "Yeah, there was a lot of testosterone." As if, <laughs> and when you hear that, you immediately think of something like Triple X, yeah, like, yeah. like entering Wait, the Xander Zone. Yeah. Can we? Which tournament was this? I mean, I don't know, just a local thing in. <laughs> He's so sort of now. <laughs> Come on, we're interested. I don't know. Well, yeah, I mean, tournament. I just I just go to the no, I go to the big game sponsored tournaments. I don't, I don't. They don't have names. It's just like, hey, Magic Orlando. <laughs> it's or underground. You you get a note in your mailbox, and you know to go. Yeah, you have to be chosen. <laughs> you get a tape that self destructs. <laughs> <laughs> he has a secret knock. <laughs> Was that the magic knock? <laughs> You've got to defeat the five warlords of the region. <laughs> your prize is blood. Jim Batch has to show it to the bouncer. <laughs> Andrew's quiet. I think we've, I don't I think know we've pushed to, it too no, far. I don't know what to say. I got a pretty good magic story. 
Oh, please, by all means. I, me and my friends used to go down to their, like, down to the video store or whatever, and they'd play a bunch of kids playing Magic. And some dude, he pulled out some... It might have been Yu-Gi-Oh, actually. He pulled out this most fucker card, and then for some reason my friend just was flipping him off <laughs> for like two hours. And then his mom, my friend's mom walked in. He's just, his hand is just stuck up there. He's holding his middle finger up at this guy. And the other guy's just laughing. And then, I mean, we're pretty young at this point. So his mom walks in. And then I'm like, oh, dude, your mom's here. He's like, yeah. And he's holding his middle <laughs> finger up. And his mom is just, his mom comes in and sees him flipping this older guy off. And she just smacks him on the back of the head. <laughs> He's busted. He got busted, man. So much testosterone. That's exactly. some testosterone in that environment. Yeah. So the the, the mothers slash women have more testosterone. They're the ones that come in and beating people up. Yeah. It was that you. It was that fucking magic yeah. aggression. She saw the card game. Was like, oh fuck no, it's on. Knew she had to prove herself. <laughs> Has to stand up to all that testosterone. Yeah. We may have done away with actual hand-to-hand -hand gladiator matches, but now we do it in magic card gathering. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not gonna lose my son to this game, too. To the Shadow Realm. father died in a magic accident. <laughs> I may not have been able to save him, but I can avenge him. I love how all the stuff that you're saying actually, literally, no exaggeration happens in Yu-Gi-Oh!, which is the game Charlie likes. Oh, I love Yu-Gi-Oh. I love Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh yeah. Yu -Gi is not for... Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh is for men. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh has the craziest fucking rules ever. Oh, it's a oh, terrible God, yeah. game. There's no consistency no, in the rules. Like, every match oh. of Yu-Gi-Oh is just someone else's has a different interpretation of the rules. That's because it's for thinking men. They don't, have, <laughs> they don't have to have their rules laid out like yeah, magic nerds. Yeah, they didn't put rules in the game and went, let the people think and figure it out for themselves. Think about it. What do you think that card does? <laughs> yeah, what does that card do for you? What do you think it's, it's a card game for the people? I like choices. <laughs> yeah, it's like <laughs> well, if you like shack. choices, don't play Yu-Gi-Oh because you never get to play. Magic just holds your hand. It's so like curated. <laughs> Every match is the same. I remember in Yu-Gi-Oh, like you would call like a judge over, and it would be like a sixteen-year-old kid, and whoever that kid liked more, the rule just went that way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's fun. You make friends that way. Lifelong allegiance is formed. <laughs> it's it's a it's a competition of respect. I I like that more than like magic, where it's just crying, <laughs> ass crack. I like card games though a lot. There's there's not like a card game I've come across where I was like, yeah, this kind of fucking sucks. I've I've liked them all to some degree. <laughs> what about Uno? What's what's Uno? You mean Uno? You weirdo? Uno, whatever. <laughs> you, you know, you know. They're the same things. Yeah, it's you very know. different. Yeah, Uno's really. cool. Like, Uno? like Uno sucks, but you know is top dollar. A plus. Wait, which one's the right one now? I'm confused. You know it's, Uno. Uno. it's it's Uno. There's no you know. You know. Here's a little embarrassing confession though. Uh so I don't I didn't know what I wanted for Christmas this year. I never really do, but I at least wanted some things under the tree, so I bought like a hundred dollars worth of Yu-Gi-Oh card packs and wrapped them. For yourself? <laughs> what? You buy your own presents and wrap them up? No, but I did this year because I wanted stuff under the tree, so I bought a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh card packs. Well, that was sad. <laughs> that's incredibly yeah, that is, sad. That's a real sad thing Jesus to say. Jesus Christ, and you make fun of me playing magic. I didn't say I was full of testosterone, more just, you know, sad. Did you pull anything good? What so what are, you, what are you going to do? Unwrap them in your cold, dark room and go, Yay, thanks, me! <laughs> so, wait, 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 Jason, what did you say? Jason said something. Did you get any good cards? I didn't open them. Uh -huh. I didn't. I didn't wrap the cards Not individually. It's the whole pack. Well, how, wait, you bought a hundred of them? No, no, no. A hundred dollars worth of Walmart. Oh, hundred. Yeah, you didn't get anything. <laughs> 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 what a shame! And I was looking forward to playing it. <laughs> Six Christmas duplicates. Ruined. Yeah. Yu Gi Oh was a f some of magic was like magic is the one where you're guaranteed a rare. Pokemon is the fucker one. Pokemon, you yeah. can get a pack and get just nothing. You yeah. get like so all common. <clears throat> Pokemon's a scam. I don't like Pokemon. Yeah. You we can like you can open it, it up and you get all energies or some shit. So what the fuck bad. am I meant to do I with mean, that? You, Pokemon's also a shitty card game now as well. It was such a bad game. It was bad full of estrogen. And it never got good. Any of you ever tried the Digimon card game? I did. That exists. Oh, I did. I had those. It was also yeah. bad. They're, I didn't play are, it. They are there enough creatures in Digimon for there to be? Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, dude. 
Are you telling me, yeah, Jackson, sure. you've never heard of the Platinum Suckamon, the best Digimon ever? <laughs> Suckamon? Yeah. Suckamon. Do you know what Platinum Suckamon is? <laughs> it is a silver pile of shit. Nothing of what I said is a joke. I think it's I think it's pronounced like Suka. S U K A Mon. Yeah, oh wow, it is just it is a literal turd. Yeah, it's, it's a, turd. a silver pile of shit. <laughs> but it's got spooky hands and a pink thing on the back. What the hell? Well, is like this? I said, it's a normal pile of shit. Oh, this guy. Yeah, platinum suck. Oh, was he not in the anime too? He yeah. was. He was a comic relief character, if I remember right. Yeah. Oh, like Wubba Fett. <laughs> so wait, Charlie, you're telling me that the main antagonist wasn't the glowing pile of shit? <laughs> It, it, it wasn't written very well. I, you know, I would have made it the main but yeah, antagonist. Yeah, I uh, I played that game, Charlie. It was uh, it was fun, but I didn't know I didn't know how to play it. I just really liked the cards. You like anime, Jason? Uh, I like the Digimon movie, the first one. That was good. Yeah. Remember that? That was like two movies. They like they had a first movie, and I think they it was like thirty minutes long. They're like fuck. That's not how long movies are. And then they had to clip in like another 40 minutes. It was like two movies in one. I would love to have a room of executives and the credits start rolling. One of them just stands up and goes, guys, that's not how long movies are. How do you not know how long a movie is? That's not how long movies are. Fuck. That's not how long movies are, guys. What do we do? Just, uh, just take I some don't footage from the show. I don't know how you could fuck that up. Fucking uh, dump some footage there. from the show. You could go in there and think 30 minutes. Like, you've got to make the script and stuff. You'd have to plan for, like, a run time. <laughs> Not well, necessarily. I mean, also, Jackson, you got to remember translating script to, uh, to image time is kind of really iffy to get right. Yeah, but not 30 minutes iffy. That's a TV show. <laughs> Surely you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean... If you're making Digimon, you ought to be a little better at it at your job. Do you yeah, think I maybe... also I hold Digimon writers to a higher standard than most as well. <laughs> Do you think maybe the script was just like a bunch of adjectives, like a kid wrote it to fill up time, and then they have a really, really, <laughs> a really, 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 really exciting fight, really big battle, just really, really long. That's like forty minutes yeah. long, <laughs> and then and then they have a, a sad moment, and it's like really, 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 really sad, playing <laughs> really <laughs> sad <laughs> music. <laughs> And really, really sad. Where do I head in this essay? <laughs> and then our hero and main protagonist, Platinum Suckamon, comes out. And he's really, really cool. They didn't even get a script, probably. They just were handed a bunch of toys they have to sell. <laughs> when you saw it in theaters, it came with one of two cards. I saw it twice and yeah, got Yeah, they both. always did that with yeah, the Pokemon the, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. And they did that with Yu-Gi-Oh! I, I distinctly yeah, I remember, remember the Pikachu you got for watching the first Pokemon movie was the best Pikachu card printed at that time. So kids would like try to get one from other movies and shit. Or from other people who saw the movie. So I they like could that. be like super good. Still remember the tier list, huh? I remember. I played, dude, Charlie, I loved that fucking game when I was a kid. I played it constantly. I never really. You also got a, really a Dragonite it. that was like a mail carrier because the, a Dragonite gives Ash the letter to invite him to Mewtwo's island. And what? That I didn't get any of that. I just yeah. got like a. I got like a Mew yeah, card that I got was Mew. unusable. That was it wasn't one. even like a real yeah. card. That was ancient Mew, which looked like yeah, hieroglyphics, that's right? <laughs> that's the one I got. Yeah. yeah. Same. Yeah. I didn't get a real card. I, I, I There's a whole bunch of different ones. The dude probably. St- Dude, working in a movie theater probably took him. Did you get your uh, <laughs> Did you get your game coin for Pokemon the Movie Two Thousand? I, don't I know think what that I means. did because uh, instead of cards for Pokemon Two Thousand, it either came with a card or instead of it. So the Pokemon game uses coin flips a lot. They made like a special Pokemon Movie Two Thousand coin where Lugia's face was on one side and the logo for the movie was on the other. And I had that in my closet for fucking ages. Now I don't know where it is. <laughs> I think I didn't get that. Even, I think that's the one where I watched it. Even as a kid, I knew, yeah, this is bad. This is a really bad movie. Are you telling me that Lugia's song on the pan flute didn't have you in tears? I don't have any recollection of that movie oh, at all, other than I hated it, even as a 10 year old. <laughs> Whatever, 13. That's a that's an interesting point. I can't think of a single movie that I really hated as a kid. I pretty much liked every movie I ever saw. Same. Anything you ever hated, Jackson or Kaya? Well, Kaya exempt everything. 
No, you're fine. Jackson, anything you hated as a child? Uh, geez, a lot of things. A lot of cartoons I didn't really like, like Totally Spies. God, you young. Wow, you had a high tolerance, or a, I don't know. Totally Spies? What? That you, was like well, no, you had a tolerance. I was the kid who would watch fucking uh, Looney Tune Babies. When it was on Cartoon Network, Ooh. I didn't give a fuck. Oh, I love this was. show. Yeah, yeah I didn't, I didn't give a fuck what cartoon babies. was on. I'd watch every cartoon. Uh, uh, no, wait, maybe I watched. Yeah, Looney Tune Baby. Yeah, I Jason, do you remember the yeah, episode where uh, Baby Daffy learns curse words? <laughs> no. you, you yes. don't yeah, so Daffy's I hanging do. out outside because, you know, babies just hang out outside on Do they censor him with, like, so a funny noise? Yeah, what happens is he's hanging out outside being a baby, and then these two construction workers or garbage men or, like, two handymen are, like, fucking around. <laughs> And he goes, yeah, he was a real, and then you hear the garbage truck, like, pull yeah. away. And Daffy's That's, like, oh, shit. That. And then That's the re- a Spongebob episode, too. It was the yeah. same exact yeah. plot. It was. Same and I distinctly remember Granny was like, Daffy, if you want to say those words, make sure to punch a pillow. So there's at one point where, like, Daffy stubs his toe or something, and he just goes, pillow. And they throw it at him, and he punches it super hard and destroys it. I remember that, man. Yeah. Wasn't there one where they were drinking, too? <laughs> What? <laughs> the babies? Yeah. The babies were drinking and swearing? I swear. <laughs> Sounds more like Mad Men. They got alcohol. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. What we're saying is I Baby know. Looney Tunes was the most hardcore cartoon on television. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, It'd make yeah. like a duck honk when he says the f boom. <laughs> That's the, for some reason that's more profane. Yeah, no, I I brought this up because that episode pops into my head every now and again. And I'm like, stop! <laughs> what Fuck a off. cursed existence! Fuck off, memory. <laughs> <laughs> fucking PTSD, just sitting there in a stupor. Oh god, not again! Here it comes. Uh, no, it's baby Looney Tunes flashbacks. Oh. Well, I guess uh, I asked you worst movie you've seen this year. How about worst game you've played this year? Yeah, we've been going for about an hour and a half. We we can wrap this up. Is there anything you'd like to plug, Jason? Anything you're super passionate about coming up? Uh, be sure to check out my new book. Uh, I can cook it, so can you. Ooh, is, is, there we go. Is that a real book you have coming out? No. All right, well, no. you've, all right, you've so deceived us all now. Thanks to Jason, professional liar. Did Leah duck out? She's here. No. Would she like to plug Hi. anything? Hello. Do you have a book? Hello. Plug your book. <laughs> <laughs> My book is called All About Bumblebees. Oh, I really Check it out. Is that cool. real? Nice. That sounds very pleasant. And then yeah. the subtitle <laughs> Why Communism Was Good for China. <laughs> 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 I'd rather not announce my subtitle yet. <laughs> All right, well, we thank you for coming on, Jason and Leah. Very right, much enjoyed you. it. Thank you, guys. Thank you for having us. Very pleasant. Sorry about the masturbation thing. Right? I wasn't all about jerking <laughs> off like I was led to believe. Yeah. Right? You guys don't usually talk about that, right? No. No, of course okay. not. That'd be weird. That'd be fun. Yeah. yeah. It usually I don't know what I was it. thinking. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah, you pass our test. Everyone who starts talking about it, we just kick out because that's just fucking gross, dude. It never makes the final cut. We always take out anything about masturbation and penises. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to get age gated. All right. We'll see everyone next week. Thanks for stopping by to the official corner. Yep. Thanks again, Jason and Leah. Bye. Thank Bye. You. Bye, friends. Goodbye.